In this section, we are going to discuss about object literals destructuring. So we have seen what is destructuring in previous section and also try to destructure arrays. In this section, we are going to try few examples where we destructure object literal. Object literal is a very important data structure in JavaScript. It is often used to pass data to server, receive data from the server. The JSON format is a kind of extension of object literal. So it is an important aspect in day-to-day -day programming. Because object literals are used extensively in day-to-day -day programming, it is also essential to extract pieces of data from object literal. Let's take an example. We create an OBJ with two members, that is A and B. So this is an object literal. Now we want to take A and B out of this data structure and want to assign to variables. So let's say we type let A comma B is equal to OBJ. And because we want to destructure object literal, we will cover A and B that is list of these two variables in curly brackets. Let's display value of A and B. As you can see now, we have A and B as variables where the data is extracted from OBJ and assigned to A and B respectively. Let's take another example. I'll say let ENO, that is employee number, comma employee name is equal to, I directly assign an object literal here. So I open the curly bracket and define two members with values. Let's try to display both ENO and ENAME separately. Here we have fixed object on the right hand side. Remember the left hand side is list of variables and not an object literal though you see that ENO and ENAME are placed inside curly brackets. They are just variables or list of variables. You can also assign default value while destructuring. For example, we do not have anything inside this object literal, so it's an empty object. Now here, I do not want that A and B should be undefined. So what I can do, I can assign A is equal to zero, B is equal to zero, and let's display A and B. Let's run this code. So now because there is no value for A and B as object literal is empty, A and B should be undefined, but you can see that it shows zero because we have assigned that if there is no value in the object literal, if there is nothing to destructure for that variable, make it zero. Let's try this with a different way. We'll assign A is equal to six here. Now let's run this code. So now you can see that A is 6 and B is still 0. The same default value syntax you can use while destructuring an array. As you can see in this figure, to prove that undefined triggers default value functionality, let's manually assign undefined to the member B. So I'm not using any member, instead I just say undefined. Let's run this. As you can see, when you assign undefined, it still says zero. So it's a very useful facility where you can have default value if the object literal or array is destructured and there is no value for that variable. Let's try one more example where a function returns an object literal and that gets destructured. We'll create a function test and we are going to return a is equal to one, b is equal to test. And here we'll say let a comma b. We are going to cover it into curly brackets because 
it's an object literal we are destructuring and then the function we assign let's display both a and b as you can see the output both a and b are destructured from the object literal and they are assigned to the individual variables destructuring is a very important and useful concept introduced from es6 the main purpose is that when you have the object literal which may have n number of members but in case if you want only few variables to extract out of the object literal or array then you can go with destructuring facility